my name is Anne and this is Toby. And welcome to a Toby Knits podcast, episode 159. If you're new to my channel, welcome. <clears throat> you need a cup of tea. Go get a cup of tea. Yes, I'm British, but I live in Ontario, Canada now and have done for mm, 40 odd years now. So um, this is my Canadian accent. You 100% know where I was from if I actually used my real one. It's funny that though, because I call it my real one But this really is, I don't know, is this my real one? So when you're, when you're bilingual, answer me this, when you're bilingual, which means you can speak more than, you know, you speak two languages fluently. And if you were brought up speaking French, but then moved somewhere and you were always speaking English, which is your normal one? got me thinking that anyway <laughs> I tend to go off on tangents as many of my lovely regular viewers will know <laughs> I have a think I, have, I think I have that squirrel mentality things kind of got get my attention and you know and today I'm looking out the window oh and there's a little funny yellow car pulled up over there I've never seen a vehicle like that before it's some kind of work vehicle I wonder if it's like tires or something. It's got like this square box thing on the back with a weird little window in it. No, I don't know. So yeah, that happens a lot. So <laughs> that's why we need a cup of tea because I'll be here for a bit. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't really have a lot to tell you because I hurt my back. Yes. And you might see me wince or twinge a little bit when I'm showing you things. It's better. It's much better than it was. So here's the long edited, there's no edit, story. <laughs> About four or five months ago, I went and had a shingle shot in my arm. And um, everybody said it hurts. And oh my goodness, it hurt. It did. It really hurt. It hurt me for quite a while after. In fact, it hurt me for weeks after. I had a hard time moving my arm back to put a coat on or, you know, when you're trying to make a bed and you're moving your, anyway, it, it hurt. So I went back to the doctor because I had to have number two shingles shot. And I said, should it still be hurting? And she said, well, not really, no. Um, but this one, let's see what this next, the booster thing does. And then, you know, come back in a week or two if it's no better. Well, it's no better. So <clears throat> I go back a week or so later and she says, uh, okay, is a possibility you have impinged the rotor cuff? It could be a needle injury stemming from the original jab. Or, you know, maybe I moved when she was doing it, which is highly likely because, you know, I don't like needles. Or, oh, my next door neighbor's going to check out now the yellow van. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> and then, and then um, um, or it could be um, tendons in the rotor cuff. So I was like, well, okay, how are we going to know? So she sent me for an ultrasound, which in and itself sounds like a brilliant idea. Except it wasn't. Because she moved my arm so much doing this ultrasound that since then, and that was Monday, so a week ago today, on the Tuesday, I woke up and my whole back was sore. And it, at this part of my shoulder where the actual um, hurt was. And then throughout the whole week, it's got worse and it has traveled. So imagine this is my back. It was here and it's traveled the pain all the way to this shoulder at the back where I actually tore the rotor cuff about 40, 20, 20 years ago. It has been so sore 
that I've been on Advil three or four times a day. I have been tape put, first of all, I put Reve 535 on, didn't really didn't do anything. Um, so then somebody told me Voltron, so I put Voltron on. Oh, what a difference that made. And and first I was putting heat on. They said, no, 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 put ice on. So then I put ice on. Oh, what a difference that made. So it's getting better, but Bob wouldn't let me knit. What's that about? He said, you can't knit because it's going to impede it. It's going to make it worse. I didn't even know he knew that word. But apparently he did. Well, there's a whole gang of them over there now, checking out this fan. A whole gang of them. <laughs> I should be over there looking. No, stop it, Anne, stop it. So I haven't got much knitting done. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the, tab <laughs> that the tablets are making me loopy now. <laughs> Because I can't remember what I was saying. Could you I have notes here? But I did manage to finish the Nana and Me socks. This is my new sock pattern. And these are lovely. So this is them. It's called the Nana and Me. They're the sweater socks. Although it looks more like a cardigan. But anyway, I prefer the sweater socks. And um, it has a really cool garter stitch shadow wrap heel because I wanted do you remember those old cardigans guys used to wear the granddads and they had like the big elbow patch I wanted that to look like an elbow patch and then it came down and because I had got the garter heel I wanted a garter toe that was the easiest toe I've ever done in my life and it looks so cool so here there are two of them the bottom of course is just straight knitting the pattern goes there and I just love them they came out really really nice this is my own hand dyed yarn this was um sandy beach I think and this was just some kind of a, a mocha brown I did um now the whole point of these socks in case you didn't know because this is a new new uh, little series I'm doing called Nana and Me. So the whole point of this is that out of your 100 gram of socks and 25 gram mini, you're going to get a pair of socks for you and a pair of socks for your grandchild. <laughs> so this is the toddler version. And it's hard to show, but there's the, they're the same, the little toddler version, and the little heel and toe. So I have to make a second one of them, but I've got plenty of yarn left to do it. In fact, I should have measured how much or weighed how much yarn I've got left. These are 64, because these are for me. Um, let me just weigh what I've got left. Okay, so of the Sandy Beach, I've got 30 grams left after doing this and this. And of the brown, I've got 10 grams left. So that definitely is enough to get at least the toddler size. Now, I have also started a pair for Tristan, which are on my desk here somewhere. And I'm doing these, let me move that out of the way, ow, in um, self-striping yarn. This was a self-striping yarn from the Cozy Knitter I had from 2018. So this is, um, so I'm doing a, t a toddler, a child, and this is the child size. And this is, I think, 52 stitches, I believe. So, and again, it's got that lovely cushiony toe and heel. And uh, so I'm just about ready to do the heel on this one. Um, and again, I've uh, plenty of yarn for it. So I'm very happy with how it's turned out. And I was dying to know. Now, the only difference with there is a certain number of rows between each of the pearl. With this, 
I just let the color change dictate when I did the pearl row and started the new color. So some of them, you can see there's not as many between them because that's how the yarn came. So anyway, I love them. So those are out with testers right now and I'm hoping to publish them in Ravelry on April the 27th, which is my Nan's heavenly birthday. How cool is that? So that's the Nana and me song. So I did get them finished. Let me put them on the floor. Out of the way. <clears throat> so then um, on the weekend, I had managed to get a bit of cross stitch done, but I'll come to that in a minute because then on the Monday was when I hurt my back. So the rest of this week, I've not done much knitting. Now I have this gorgeous little book because as you know, I've been following the Gideon method and where I pick six projects of whips and I work for 12 hours on each of the whips, not consecutively. And I just put my stopwatch on when I'm set at 12 hours and count down till it's the 12 hours are done. Then I put that away, get another project out. And that lasts me the whole month. I do that the whole month. Um, and this month I decided to do something a little tiny bit different. Instead of working on six projects throughout the month, because I was finding I wasn't getting as much done per project, um, I decided I would do four. So these were the four projects I was going to work on. And Monday to Friday in the evenings, because that's mostly when I knit, or if I'm watching footy in the afternoon, um, then I would work on for week one, the Pemberton pullover, for week two, my favorite blanket, for week three, the uh, the Geo Gradient shawl, and then week four was gonna be Dorothy Mouse. And then I always have car knitting because I don't drive. So whenever we go anywhere, I can't just sit there in a car, it's kind of boring. So I was gonna pick the C pod socks as my um, knitting in the car. Then um, I had some other whips that were on the go. They were the 24 bird make along I'm doing with Helen Stewart, curious I made. Um, there was gonna be the sweater socks, which I've finished my ones, but I still have the little ones to do. And um, the mitered square and the jelly roll were going to be part of Scrappy Sunday and they only get worked on on Sunday and Sunday evening. And then Saturdays is Stitchy Saturdays, so I only work on cross stitch. So that was gonna be the plan for the week. But now that I've hurt my shoulder, um, I'm gonna change it up again a little bit. And the reason for that is the Pemberton pullover, I did work on that whole first week of um, April. And this is what I got. I cast on for the, um, this is not knit in the round, it's knit flat. I haven't done a flat knit for ages. So this is the Pemberton pullover and this is the sleeve one. So I'm still increasing, this is for Bob. So that's what I got done every night this week or last week, Monday to Friday. Um, but as I said, I hurt my arm. So by like, I think I only got this done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because by Thursday it was too sore. I couldn't and Bob wouldn't let me do any knitting after Thursday. So this really was only three nights worth of knitting. But now I have to put that away because that's that was that first week. So that's fine. This will get put away and come back out again the start of next month. Next, I was going to work this week on my favorite blanket. And I dyed up the next two colors, which are going to be held double. And this is actually very similar to my um, Sandy Beach. 
I didn't have the same colors that Kay used in hers. So I used what I had, which was obviously the colors I'd used for this. This is a tiny bit darker, but, and then there's this one and they're fingering weight. These are, I used a bare hair. So this is, um, I think it's Angora and um, nylon. So these will get held double and go next into the blanket. I don't have the blanket here to show you. I do, it's actually, it's on the floor over there in the corner, but it will hurt me to pick it up because it's very heavy now. It's quite big. Um, <clears throat> Cause I think we're in month eight. It was all done last year, but I never finished it because in the summer here in Canada, it gets so hot that I didn't knit on it at all through all of the summer months last year because it was just too heavy and too hot. Um, so I've decided I'm not going to work on that probably until week four, just because I need to rest my arm and shoulder and I think that is going to be too heavy for me to hold and knit on. So I'm just putting that away. In its place, I'm going to work on the 24 bird. So this is what I'm going to hope to try and work on this next week. This week. On Monday to Friday in the evenings. Because it's lighter, it's a fingering weight, and it's knit in the round. It's very difficult to show you. It's a, it's, this is the shawl, um, which is, um, it's a mystery knit along, but we're on week three now. So, which of course I haven't even started because <clears throat> of course I'm behind. Um, <clears throat> so that was week one was the center in the brown with a bit of the yellow peeking through to there, to the yellow. That was all week one. Week two is the purple and the yellow. And I've, I think I've got a bunch more row, maybe four more rows. And then I'm finished clue two. And then as I say, clue three came out last Thursday, which I haven't been able to knit since. So I think this is gonna be what I'm gonna work on this week in the evenings. And um, the colors that I'm using, this is my hand dyed, um, it was like a mocha brown. I only did one of each of these colors because they're not really for the shop. But if you like them, maybe I'll, I'll dye them up for the shop too. This is the yellow, which I called um, rhubarb and custard. And then this is the purple, which is Palmer Violets. And both of them have the red in. And then the final color, which I did not hand dye, um, that goes with it is a red. It's kind of this color red, kind of an orangey red, which will be the, the, the last color, the main color pop, so to speak. So I'm gonna work on this instead of my favorite blanket. And I'll take Dorothy Mouse off and put my favorite blanket at the bottom. So that's gonna be the plan for this week's Monday to Friday knitting. And then of course, um, the Mitre Square blanket and the Jelly Roll didn't do anything hardly to. The only thing I did, ow, that hurt my neck, uh, was I just started this little bit but then, like I said, I couldn't work on it. It was too sore, so I didn't. Um, so here is the mitered square blanket. The white um, bits are, it will be the center, the white and uh, colorful. And now I'm just starting to go all the way around with colors, but leaving one, I'm gonna have one white diagonal stripe. And so now I'm working across the top 
the stripes all go one way in this one. My other one, they're all different directions, but this one are all going one way. So I didn't really get anything of that done, but that will be Sunday's project that I hope to get back to this Sunday. So that was my knitting. It really wasn't a lot of knitting. I really didn't do a lot. Um, <clears throat> cross stitch. Oh, the other thing I want to do, my friend has offered to do the seed pod socks for me. Because <laughs> I just don't like them. Um, this was the seed pod socks. Another Helen Stewart from her. Now, what were they from? was from last year I think and it was no secret sock society no I always want to call it that the sock society something like that and um so this was the one pair with the seed pods and I did not enjoy doing the seed pod the rest of it is just plain knitting I did not enjoy the seed pod um, because it used two cable needles at the same time, which confused the absolute life out of me, and I didn't enjoy it. So I was just going to knit the second one, which I have started on nine-inch circulars. Not not really a fan at the moment. Um, and then, of course, everybody told me, oh, you shouldn't do the cuff on the nine-inch circulars. You should do that magic loop or DPN, and then switch to nine-inch when it's just e easy knitting. Thanks for that. Um, <clears throat> this is also my hand dyed yarn. This is Larkspur. And um, so anyway, yeah, she um, offered to finish them. These were gonna be my car knitting. And uh, I was just going to knit this, this whole section here, pearl, and not do the, the seed pod. And she said, no, 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 I'll finish them for you. So I said, okay, fine. <laughs> so she's getting them to finish and those are going to be not my car knitting so Andrew had asked me for a muscle bra hat and I just done one for Sean my youngest that's in Nova Scotia and here is a picture of him wearing his hat it's very difficult to get a picture of him in it because you know they're all camera shy and um he um I was surprised. I thought he would wear it without the brim, but he likes it with the brim. So that's him wearing his, and that was also my hand tie yarn. That was school uniform. So Andrew wanted like a, a winter, I don't know if you call it cameo color. Uh, you know, in the army when they have that, whatever they're, I don't know. Anyway, do you know what I mean? When the yarn is, not the yarn, they wear like this green and, you know, camouflage. Anyway, it, there's a winter one apparently, and that's what he wanted. So I dyed this up for him. And it's grays and whites. So that is going to be Andrew's. Now, when I first did it, I used gray and a black. Well, the black turned purple on me. I've never seen that happen before. The whole black. It was black as spades in the pan. But when you took it out of the pan, it wasn't. It was... But I actually like it. So I said to Andrew, which one do you like? This one or this one? And he said, I like the, the gray one. I said, okay, good, because I love purple. So I'm going to make my muscle bra hat out of this one. And there's even like blue bits. I don't even know if you can see some of the pieces. Some of it looks bluish. So I was very interested in that. So anyway, I'm going to cast on. I'm going to have to get Bob to wind the yarn for me, though, because that's really going to hurt my back. So this will be the car knitting. I'll start on Andrew's. So, yeah. So then cross stitch. As I say, I didn't do any this weekend. But last weekend, you'll know I was working on this one for Sean. Sean in Nova Scotia. And 
I have got all this done now. I just had that little dark, these dark colors to do. And I got most of this side of his nose done. In fact, yesterday I did try cross stitching and I got about 20 stitches <laughs> to put it down. So this is coming on lovely. I love this one. And then the other one, because that's all gray and I needed color, I'm working on this one for Evie. And I had done the fox and couldn't work out which way I wanted to go. I ended up coming this way and I'm trying to work my way to the end here. And then I'll start on that, this guy. And that's where I've got. So there is where the hair will be. And there is where the hedgehog is going to be. So that's what I've got done there. Oh gosh, it's really hurt my arm to hold that up. Oh, it sucks getting old. Why do we have to get all these little tiny injuries? I still don't know really how I did it in the first place. I mean, I don't think it was the, the needle, but they seem to think that maybe I did something when I was favoring it. My hair looks weird. When I was favoring it after I'd had the needle that I might have strained it or done something. And the final thing was I did a little bit of sewing. Well, actually it wasn't sewing. It was more cutting out. I have to sew. I did the final block for this um, quilt that I'm working on for my stepdaughter's birthday. And um, this is what I did. This block obviously is applique. So I had to cut out the pieces so you, you get the shapes and you have to cut them out on the applique paper and then you put the paper, iron the paper onto fabric and then you cut the fabric out and then you iron it all onto your piece of background. So what I have to do now is just go around with my zigzag stitch and make sure that this won't peel off. And then once that's done, it will go here. And I can sew this together and then this whole big block there together. And then I can start on the um, Quilted to Go. And I have bought this fabric. I just got it at Walmart. But it's that soft, um, it's a, I don't know, it's 100% cotton, but it's that soft, you know, brush cotton, maybe. But I thought this would be lovely for the back so that they can curl up underneath it and be nice and warm. And I picked up some batting from um, Walmart as well. It's not the type I normally use, so I hope it's gonna work. But, you know, when you're not near your actual quilting shop and you can't get it, you, you get what you can get. So her birthday's not till July. I've got lots of time to work on it, but um, yeah. I usually sew during the day, but um, I haven't done much this week, as you can tell. I haven't done much of anything this week. So I'm going to, my arm is sore, and I'm gonna go ice it, but it just hurts to move. And every now and again, I get like, yeah, oh! <laughs> you know, when you, when you go to do something. But at least I was able to put the kettle on this morning. <laughs> that was the most important thing to me. <laughs> Cheers. So yeah, I am going to go and um, ice it. I'm going to see if I can knit on my 24 birds. Just see how it goes. I'm not going to push it. If it hurts, I'm not going to do it. And who knows if I'll get any knitting done this week. Oh, it's really hard though to just sit. We watched a movie last night. Actually, we watched a really weird movie. What was it called? It was on Netflix. Had Julia Roberts in it, Kevin Bacon, and somebody else. And it was like op 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 apoliptic, apoliptic? No, God, Kath, help. I, she knows I can't say words. She's super good. 
in that she's some kind of science nerd and uh, hope you don't mind me calling you that hun but she always tells me the, how to say things because i can never say it properly uh, up 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 a, no you know what i mean when it's like the world's ending <laughs> whatever that means of course it might do that this afternoon when we have the eclipse um <clears throat> Anyway, it's a really good movie. I wish I could remember what it was called. I, f I can't remember. If I can remember, I'll put it on the title here. It's on Netflix. So I watched that last night and uh, it was really good, but I cannot, I have a hard time sitting and watching TV and not knitting. I start nodding off to do that. But if I'm knitting, I don't. And uh, anyway, so, but it was, it was a good movie. You know, for the most part. It was. It kept me thinking. I kept saying to Bob, what would you do if that was you? Where would you go? What would you do? It was a very interesting movie. Anyway, I'm going. I need to go ice my back. Have another cup of tea. And then maybe try to edit this and get this up for you tomorrow. Um, I hope you're enjoying this weekly won't happen in May. It's only in, in April I'm doing my weekly chit chats from the craft room. Um, next week is my special guest week, remember? Ooh, wait till you see who's coming to chat to me then. And uh, yeah, and then um, then there'll be the last one before I go off to England. So May, I'm not sure what I'll even get done in May, if anything. Might just be a couple of vlogs here and there, but I don't know. <clears throat> okay, I'm going. I am rambling. That yellow car still over there. Van, thing, whatever it is. I'd have to take Toby for a walk. <laughs> I am so nosy. <laughs> All right, I'm going. Okay, bye. <laughs>